Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem. So, we are going to have another chance to explore our monastery in this episode and we have a couple of events. We have the Lots of Large Fish event, which basically there are a lot of fish in the pond and they're growing rapidly. So this could be our chance for a big catch. This means we'll get higher quality fish, but not a larger amount. Interestingly, the amount of Professor XP you get is based upon the number of fish, not necessarily on the quality. Like the quality affects the base XP, and then the number of fish that you get of that quality then multiplies it. So we might want to wait for a better event where it's like you catch multiple fish with each uh, cast, but this is a pretty good one and it will show, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to uh, get some fish which can, we can sell for some money. We also have bonding bites. So bonding bites in, uh, increases effects when you dine with students from your own house. So this is going to be a good opportunity to get some support up with students from our own house. And I think that probably means that I think we get two activity points today. We should probably use both our activity points eating, although I think that's the only activity we can do right now. I don't know whether there's more it's about to show us, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. You can also see we have the seminar and battle options as well as the rest option. Seminar is kind of a teaching option. Um, I believe it just kind of ups stats in general. It's more of a, I don't want to explore, I don't want to battle, I just want to have the week go by and us get some stats. Battle is obviously you go out and do a battle event of some kind. And that also increases your stats and increases support and all that sort of thing. I think that battle is generally better than seminar, but I'm not 100% sure. Explore is really about um, your relationships with other characters and doing these events. And then rest, pretty much you just rest. It increases motivation, but that's it. Interestingly, you can also increase motivation through exploring. This is the bit where resting seems a bit foolish, because you, if you have a high enough professor level, you can explore, and then you can make everyone like you. Anyway, but yeah, we're going to explore, and because that's the only option. There is the marketplace as well, which we have open to us, which is a little weird, but it makes sense because we've done some combat. The marketplace is basically where you can buy extra items and things, but we don't need to worry about that because we're not doing battling right now. Right, let's go and explore. Yes. Oh, map. On the map screen, you can instantly travel to places you have been. Ah, well, that explains what I was trying to do previously. Press the R button to open the map and then select a destination. Press the A button to fast travel. Press the X button to find each character and facility at your selected location. Neat. Dot, dot, dot. A girl's voice. What could it mean? Okay. So this allows us to travel around. Nice. Accept the quest from Gerald and speak with your house leader. Okay. What kind of quests have we got today? Uh, leading the charge. The next mission is a real battle. This isn't child's plate. Come see me for advice. Okay. And as a reward, we get battalions. Okay. We'll find out what those are in a second. Creative cuisines. I'd like to spruce up the menu in the dining hall. If you have any recipe ideas, let me know. Passion for music. Calling all students and richer bodies and minds through choir. And then troubling rumor. Seeking intel on strange movements by the Western Church. Hmm. Okay, and then we also have new weapons in the armory and new items in the shop. Okay, so we'll need to check all of that out at some point. I do want to quickly check our menu just to have a look and see what's going on with our... Yeah, we have no support. Okay, so we have nobody we can talk to immediately, but it seems like the game has now opened up a little bit. Ooh, items. Nice, Tea of the Saints. So, a little bit more tea. Okay. Uh, let's just head this way. Oh, there's Claude. Okay, well that works. Hey, Claude. Those bandits really didn't think things through, did they? They had to have known the knights would be after them the moment they entered the monastery's turf. Fine by me, though. I'm raring for some real combat experience. Any chance to grow is a good thing. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to ask me, Teach? About living at the monastery or combat? Anything like that? Oh, is this the bit where you give me the tutorial I just tried to explain? Uh, yes it is. Oh wait, no, not quite. This is the two bits I haven't mentioned. Faculty training. Students aren't the only ones who have something to learn from their professors. Professors can also learn from each other. If you want to, you should try trading knowledge with Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. You can increase your skills by training with knights and professors in the monastery. Use the faculty training option to benefit from their wisdom. 
As the story progresses, faculty training will become advanced drills. Use this option to learn from any unit with a higher skill level than your own. Okay, cool. This will take up one of our activity things for the week, and I really want to get um, our relationships up with characters, so I'm not going to do this immediately, but it could be useful once we actually start wanting to boost up skills to get different classes and things. But we'll get into that later. And then recruiting. The house a student belongs to is determined by where they're from, but it is possible for someone to switch to a different one. Of course, that's only if the student very strongly wants to make the change and their professor is on board with it. If you do a lot of different activities around the monastery, you'll get closer to students and they may ask you about it. To recruit students from different houses, you will need to meet the requirements. Each student prioritizes different stats and skills. It is easier to recruit students who like you, so try building up your support level for students you'd like to recruit. Certain non-students will also become available for recruitment as the story progresses. Now, interestingly, I believe that the way it works is if you have the skills, as in at a certain level, you will just be able to recruit them. If they like you, it pretty much mostly removes the ability for that, uh, um, like the necessity for these skills. Like, it removes a lot of the requirements. So, if you make them like you, there's a chance that most will just join you straight up if you just make them like you. So, yeah, we'll, we'll need to keep an eye on that. Right, thank you, uh, Claude. Dimitri. Your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. You have inspired me to follow your example and study even more diligently. Perhaps we could train together sometime. I would love to test myself against your sword skills again. Okay. Oh, why is Tadu saying you should stay away? Hello. It is better if you do not approach me. Oh, that's upsetting. If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. Alright then. I will go, but I'll come back later. Right, what have we got up this way? Doesn't look like we've got anything up this way, but maybe there are items? What the? Seems like it's a possibility. No items. Okay, any items over here? Nope. Okay. Uh, we can go in to the that training grounds. Okay, I haven't been here before. Ah, of course, we need to get it shown off to us. The training grounds. A very impressive square it is. Okay. Ooh, Raphael. Hello. The next assignment is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, which is better, strength or skill? He wants me to say strength, I'm saying strength. I knew it! When it's all said and done, muscle always comes out on top. Yeah, definitely. Casper? Hello? Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Sure, why not? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Okay, and then we can just try and recruit him. I'm just gonna click it. I don't believe we can, but I'm gonna click it. Hey, Professor. Here to cause some trouble? No? Well, whatever then. Seems this person isn't interested in Alpax's house yet. Casper really values the following stats. Strength and brawl. Interesting, so he really likes what Raphael has. Okay, that's neat. Um, we'll need to talk to him more later. Hello, Ingrid. And now that you're all the way over here, Professor, care to join me in some training? After training, I love tending to the horses or burying myself in a good pile of books. <sighs> There's truly nothing better. Yeah, you wanna join me, Ingrid? Hi, Professor. Did you need something? I'm imagining everyone's gonna say no, but I just want to know what kind of skills they like. I've actually got plans, so let's talk some other time. So, they... Ingrid likes decks and flying. Okay, we don't have that, but it's alright. For years, the Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal. Nothing more. That's a bit extreme. He's strong and skilled, sure. But don't place your trust in him as a human being. Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. Alright, what do you like, Felix? I'm guessing sword? Join me for some training sometime. I'm interested in your sword technique. 
I might like to become your student someday, but not today. So he likes speed and sword. Well, those are things that we can get. Those are definitely things we can get. Now, actually, what would be fun to look at right now, or interesting, is um, the skills and what they actually are. Because I'm not 100% sure, and I think it's worthwhile. So, if we head in here, um, we can see we have these eight stats down the bottom. So, let's have a look at them. So, strength affects the damage the unit deals with physical attacks. Makes a lot of sense, really. Magic, magical attacks. So, strength is physical, magic is magical. Makes so much sense. Dex? Hit rate and critical hits. Alright, so it's about accuracy. So Dex is effectively just accuracy. Speed affects avoidance rate. So if you're speedy, things can't hit you. Okay. Luck has various effects, lowers risk of enemy critical hits. Well, yeah, that, that, that's good. So basically, I guess luck affects your role probably affects every roll slightly in terms of random rolls and then that includes the enemy critical hit rolls. Defense reduces damage from physical attacks. Resistance is magical. Yes. And then charm raises gambits might, hit rate and avoidance. Gambits are basically abilities that you can use that are kind of limited per combat. Okay. Interesting. So hmm. So Felix likes not being hit, and then physical attacks, that makes sense. Although he, no sorry, he likes sword as well, because there are other abilities in that there's also each skill in here, in which, which there is sword, lance, axe, bow, brawl, reason, faith, which we have, I believe the stars at the right hand side are called talents, and then if we train up in that skill enough times, we unlock a special ability. What's interesting, actually, as well, is that our brawl is... The ones with the arrows up are ones that we're really good at. We're good at brawling. Hmm. wonder if we can use that somehow. Authority is the skill for commanding battalions and using gambits. Heavy armor, riding, and flying. Okay, and then faith is white magic, reason is dark magic. Yeah. Anything else in here? Ah, yes, we have classes. So, each character is a class. We're a commoner which is those of common birth who must compensate for lack of noble privilege with tenacity. But then you could upgrade your class. So basically, we can go to a beginner class and get one of these ones, and the classes affect how your stats increase with each level up. Okay. Oh, we can't even see the top level ones. And then you can also see a little bit about each character here with your close allies. I wonder. I guess this must change over time, this close allies. Well, I'm going to get rid of the details. But plus allies must change over time because Marianne and Hilda are the two that we um, got some support with when we went to the uh, dinner the other day. Okay. Neat. Oh, and activity points. We get two explorer, three lesson, and one battle. Oh, so it can be get to the point where you get multiple battles per week. Okay. Uh, if I switch this up here, just have a look at Claude, for instance. I believe he has a different class. Yeah. So if I have a look at his class here, his unique one, he's a noble. So leaders of highborn lineage, many nobles are descended from the ten elites, heroes of old. This class can use some magic. So it's very similar to commoner, actually. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, and the icons do change with the character. That's also cool. Yeah. But we can't really see too much more out of these ones. I think all the classes are likely to be the same, even at higher levels. Actually, no, look at this. Akinats can do those, but Lysithia can do a much lower selection. Yeah, it appears to be gender locked, some of the classes. Hmm. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Time to get out of there. We could also have a look at each character's background, but I'm assuming they're going to tell us that as we uh, speak to them, so it seems like a better way to do it. Right, let's continue our exploration. Anything over What's here? That, hey there. No items over there. Right. In this way. Oh, there's the bulletin board. Ah. Edelgard, hello. You're quite powerful to have beaten us in the mock battle. Such a shame you aren't leading our class. Hubert? I've heard your class is hunting thieves. That mission is very different from the one we were given. That sounds ominous. What was the... I I'm now want to know what mission they were given. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Hello, Ash. 
Chinese beat loaf, sir. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. I wish you the best of luck. You want to be part of my team? Interestingly, actually, we couldn't recruit recruit uh, Huber actually, when we uh, talked to him. I guess that means we can't recruit him? Hmm. Okay. Huh? You're inviting me to join your class. I'm really flattered, honestly. But I still have a lot left to learn in my current one. So he likes... Charm and Lance. Hmm. Okay. Not what I would have expected. But that's fine. Um, let's head out here. What have we got in our classroom? Nobody is in our classroom. I've failed as a teacher. Right. Um, where are we? I'm kind of lost in our map. So we are... I actually can't see where we are on the map. Let's see. All right, we're right in the center here. So we've already been in the personal qu quarters. So we went that way. So we kind of want to go to the right through that garden. And then... Well, sorry. To let... To our right, on the map's left, through the garden, and then head back to the personal quarters. Okay. Right. Uh, there any items right, in right. here? No items. Okay. What about this side? Aha! Ooh, more tea. And an arcane crystal. Nice. Okay. This way, and we're back in the personal quarters. I'm gonna run all the way back along the end. Oh, there's hey. Gerald. Hello. Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? No. That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. Yeah, give me your quest. I have a request. A real battle this month, huh? I hear even the Knights of Saros are involved. I never taught you much about tactics, but there's a primer in my room. Go, give it a read. Yeah, okay. Leone, hello. Professor. Yes, uh, it's the same it's conversation, fire, but we then speak it... to her. Oh, she's, wait. Why am I trying to recruit her? She's already in my class. Don't need to recruit her. We've already passed that point. Oh, that room's locked. This one? Locked. I don't know why I'm walking at them. Each one like it's gonna magically open, but there we go. No items around here, no items down there. Hey there. Right. Ooh! Almost ran straight past an item. Insect larva. Ah, fantastic. More uh, things for fishing. We'll probably do fishing after we've talked to everyone. Spotted Dorothea. Hello. Oh, Professor. Hello. I was just looking for my... Well, it's... It's like a pale blue cloth. Have you seen it? Um... Let's search for it. Uh, um... Okay. Yeah, do you want to join my class? I do find you very... Interesting, Professor. I'm just not sure if it's enough to change classes. Hmm... Let me think about it a bit more. Okay. So she values charm and authority. Hmm. All right. Bernadetta? What is it? I'm not doing anything. Um. Hey, what's this cake doing out here? Cake? Oh, come on. That's just cruel. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Um. Hi. Sorry, I'm trying. But you're still kind of a stranger. So. She likes strength and bow. Okay. Well, we'll come back when we have that. Nothing there. Nothing there. Right. Round this way. Oh, we've got to go check out the greenhouse, because we had some things that were uh, growing there. Oh, Shamir. Hello. Have we met? No. Sorry. You remind me of someone I know. All right, then. Well. Yeah. She doesn't really say very much, does she? Uh, ooh, Marianne, hello. Um, Professor? Our next mission is to go after a group of bandits. 
I'm not very confident. I'm afraid I'll just hold everyone else back. I should probably stay behind for this one, or help plan the attack instead. Nonsense, you should come with us. Ooh, what have we got here? Some more seeds and... Planting seeds, a list of different seed types and how best to plant them. It's a wealth of knowledge for aspiring gardeners. Ooh, a book that got some professor level. What about over here? More seeds. Perfect. Um, just checking we haven't missed anything else in here. Hello, greenhouse keeper. Yes. So, first things first, let's harvest Dedu's seeds. We get turnips, onion, cabbage, and chickpeas. Good. Now we can plant some more. So, can I see what seeds go well? Oh, I can only do one lot of seeds anyway. Well, let's do whatever the highest one is, the Morphous Plum Seeds. Planting them will yield Morphous Plums. Sure, why not? Yes, I'd like to plant the selected seeds. I'm assuming that's all I can do. Yeah, okay. You offered the seeds to the Greenhouse Keeper. Check back when you next explore the monastery on a free day. Cultivate. Oh, we can now pour water on it. Yeah, let's pour some water on it. And that's us done here. Right. Uh, next stop is past fishing, but we're not going there yet. Can't run down this side. Okay. Ooh. I did see an item. Nice. Hooked on fishing. A sheep of paper with carefully curated information about different types of fishing bait and best tackle practices. Whoever wrote this knows a great deal about fishing. Nice. More professor level. Ooh, and there's a ton of items around the fisherman. And there's a fish. Nice. Local fish guide. A list of different types of fish that can be caught in the fishing pond. It's downright comprehensive. Okay, we might level up from all these random things we're finding. Another fish. Okay, nothing to do there. Um, yeah, I'm going to head along this way past the animals. Just paying attention to each side here. Now, we are allowed over this way now. Into the marketplace. But... I'm going to head back up here because we need to go to the dining room and grab this item. Poultry. I'm just going to check this side as well while I'm at it. Make sure we didn't miss anything. I'm going to be paranoid I missed something this whole time. Right. Into the dining room. Nobody's here. Oh, okay. Well, let's run along the end. Oh, there's some people here. Tea of the Saints. So we're allowed to cook, I think, here. Would you kindly do something for me? I'm fresh out of recipe ideas. Perhaps, say, hey, perhaps you could find some for me. Maybe a student or the library's cookbooks could spark some information. Let me know, will you? Okay. We've now accepted that quest. Right. So we could do some bonding bites. I definitely want to do that as much as possible, but anyway, Annette first. I've got to find out everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Spicy. Spicy? Ooh, your tastes are so mature. I'll definitely remember that. Sounds like she's patronizing me. You want to be recruited? Huh? You think I would be a good fit for your class? Mm, I'm not sure. There's still a lot I want to learn from my current class. Sorry to disappoint. So, she likes magic and faith. Okay, well we do not have that ability. And this is back into the courtyard. Okay. So if we head out this way and walk along, there's Tomas. How Hello. About this? Do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Thanks for letting me know. Ooh, Petra. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even Spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? I hate the heat. But you are wearing many things, Professor. If you are not liking the heat, you should be wearing lighter clothes. Fair point. You want to be recruited? Training has given me great busyness right now. It is not a good time for the chatting. But you have given me intrigue. Please make sure you are speaking with me again. So, she likes decks and riding. Okay. 
Well, again, we do not have that yet, but that's okay. Uh, I just want to actually make our other map different. What was the button for that? Was it this one? Ah, there we go. Yeah, there's somebody in the corner here. I would have missed them completely. Perhaps Lysithia. There are way too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Yes. Well, everyone knows a plate full of sweets is far preferred to a plate full of vegetables, regardless of age. Okay. Right. Let's head out this way. And through here. And where are we? Oh, that's the Mabel Gazebo. Manuela. You know, Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess, I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? I'll avoid the joke I have in my head. No, oh, never mind. Um, I'll say it anyway. With the preface, it's bad. Um, did he mean you or the room? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some knight he is. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Uh, when you're in a better mood. Uh we got around here, nothing, 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 nothing. Right, this way. Hello, Hilda. I'm bored. Maybe I should go into town. But that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. You don't look busy. Ah, you can tell? I suppose being a professor has taught you how to ferret out time wasters. All right, then. Uh, ooh, there's something behind us here. What, what's this way? Ah, okay, yes, this room. So. Sylvain, hello. Professor, you're the one taking out the bandits? <laughs> That's one way to start your career at the academy. I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? A bit, yeah, I suppose. Although they are teaching you how to fight, so I guess at some point you have to actually do it. Let's uh, try and recruit them. What's up, Professor? You need something from me? Hey, I got a girl waiting. Well, two. <laughs> they don't know about each other. I mean, can we talk later? Charm and reason is what you'd like. Ooh, I Knight of Saros. The Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. We are the sword and shield of the divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world, but we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the Knights. You know, I might do that at some point. Along here next to the stairs we have... Let's see. Cyril. That person sure does remind me of somebody, but I can't figure out who. Oh, do you need me for something? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. Alright, well, we'll speak later then. Uh, have we been out here? We have been out here. Good. I'm not allowed to go this way. Thank you. This is forbidden. Okay. Further along? Ooh, I haven't been this way before. Got Ferdinand. Do you know of the Iyer family? We have long held the position of Prime Minister in the Empire. The Empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. I'm ready. All right. I will list the six great noble families. Oh, I didn't think you'd actually do it. There is Kaspar's father, Count Burglies, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there is Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Gert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Iyer, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. Well, I look forward to that. 
There is nothing I cannot achieve. You want to join my, uh, my house? Oh, Professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? Well, the eldest son of House Iyer will not be so easily swayed. Looks like this guy, let me predict him. He likes authority and sword. Dex and heavy armor? All right, also the music stopped, it's kind of creepy. Well, there's the cathedral. Ooh. That is very impressive. Here's an idea. Hello. I hear the Officers Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That is how the establishment was founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. Hmm. Hi. Neat. I'm going to head this way first. We're going to go around it, looking for items. No items here, no items here. All right. This door, which is again just a loading screen door. Nothing around here, nothing around here. Right. Up this way. Nothing, nothing, mm. nothing, nothing. No items at all around this way? Oh, disappointing. Completely disappointing. Right. Um, nothing else in here. Right. Mercedes, hello. The cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. Oh, Professor, did you come to pray to the goddess? I did not. No, but shall we pray together while you're here? You want to be recruited? Oh, you want me to join your class? Hmm, well, I'm already having so much fun in my current class. Sorry to disappoint, but I'll have to decline. So, she likes magic and bow. We do not have that. Okay, Seteth, hello. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? No. Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. All right, you got a quest? I have something to ask of you. The West Fodlin, uh, the Western Church, which rules over the western parts of Fodlin, has lately made some strange troop movements. If you hear anything concerning, be sure to let me know. So this month only, we can collect information and report it to Seteth. You may find an informant among the students in the courtyard. Okay. Oh, playing as something else to uh, ask us. Inside the cathedral, Saint India. Yeah. Saint Sathleen. Who is? Now that you are a member. Said that she has something else to say to us, doesn't it? It does. Okay, maybe she doesn't. Saint Macule statue. The statue of Saint Macule, one of the four saints. It said he has, his gift for strategy was unparalleled. He served as chief tactician of Saint Seros and was a pioneering, pioneering figure for and master of the magical arts. Saint Indect statue. The statue of Saint Indect, one of the four... Na uh, saints. It's said he is known for his wisdom and dexterity. Though unskilled in the art of human interaction, he used his gifts to help those in need. He was also an indomitable warrior who slew countless foes on countless battlefields. Okay. Saint Sethleen. A statue of Saint Sethleen, one of the four saints. It's said that she was a beautiful and kind soul who is beloved by all for her empathy and ability to hear severe, heal severe wounds. She is the daughter of Saint Keyhole. And then, Saint Keyhole. A statue of Saint Keyhole, one of the four saints. It is said that he was a compassionate yet stern figure whose faith was so true he was able to perform miracles. He is the father of Saint Sethleen. Maybe now that I've read about them, I can speak to her again? Inside the saint. Now that you are. Oh, maybe it's this person. There's something else. Ah, it is. Hello. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. 
Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? No. I see. The truth is, I am not a particularly devoted believer either. But it would be unbecoming for a noble like me to neglect his prayers, wouldn't it? I think I'm liking him more. Okay. There's nothing over here. Uh, anything over this way? No. No. Okay. Anything in the center? No. Don't see anything over that way. Been that way. Okay. Uh, singing. Hello. I have a favor to ask. I've been thinking about starting a choir, and I need a volunteer who can help me get it off the ground. Can you help me find some students who love music? Sure. Right. Is there anything else around here? Nothing around that way. Right, let's head out this side and see if we can find any more items. Don't see any items along here, but just seeing if any would load in as we walk along. Doesn't look like it. Right, down You're here. There. Got anything else? Nope, 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 nope. That's a gate we cannot go through. Up here. Nothing down that way. Nothing along here. No. Right. So I believe we've explored all of that side. It's time to head all the way back. Professor. And now, uh, I don't know entirely where we're going. Maybe the second floor? Let me just have a look at our map. So we've been to the, we haven't been to the entrance hall or the marketplace. Well, we haven't been to all of the entrance hall anyway. And then we have to go to the second floor. Okay. Let's head out of there. Let's so see. let's go to the second floor first. Because we haven't been there yet. And we know we haven't been there. So, what have we got in here? Uh... What? Got monk. Xanado, the Red Canyon, is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the church are forbidden from entering without permission. To go trampling around in there, causing trouble. Those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. Hmm. Interesting. So they are deliberately provoking us, which we kind of suspected, well. but it's still interesting to have that confirmed. Uh, this way? I see, we should speak to Rhea first. Let her just say hello. No items here. No items in this bit. Just checking around. No items. Okay, hey. Thank you for paying me a visit. You're welcome. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there perhaps something I can help you with? Um, hmm. Tell me more about Saros. Believers live their lives by her sacred wisdom. Please use the library's vast resources to learn more. I can often be found here, so if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. Okay, I won't. Right, along in here, nothing there, nothing there. Right. So we've been there. We know that Captain Geralt probably isn't in his room, but Hanneman what? might be around. Hey, you! Oh no, ha Captain Geralt asked us to read his book. A book containing the basics of tactics. It doesn't look like it's been read much. Thanks for your help. I chose some knights to help you out. They'll be deployed in your next real battle. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of them. Nice! Quest completes. We get a bunch of mercenaries and renown increases. Axis. Uh, the menu's item to store, use, take, or swap items for your units. Items that cannot be carried will be sent to the convoy. Access the abilities and combat arts menu to equip your units with what they have learned. Use the battalions menu to assign battalions to your units. Use the reclass menu to switch a unit's class to any for which they are certified. Classes a unit has mastered are marked with a star. Okay. And we completed the quest. Which is nice. Nothing in there. Okay. Uh, so that's Hanneman on one side. Any items in Manuela's place? Nope. Hello, Hanneman. Excellent work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. And bearing the unknown crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. Your talents are incredible. 
and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. Good. Let me check the crest analyzer. There's some hair in the device. It looks just like my hair. Maybe he needs a few more strands. You do seem to have a mark of the exceptional about you. I only wish Seteth would follow your example. Okay, anything else in the analyzer? Doesn't say anything. Okay. Well, we'll leave him to uh, investigate. Along here we have... Hey, you! A good amount of nothing. Can't go in there. In here? Nope. Okay, back along. So the other side has the library, which really? we have already... Well, we've already spoken to Tomas, so who else is in the library? I don't know. Oh, there are some people here, though. And some quests. Nice. I can't believe it. So we found a classic cookbook. Cooking recipes are said to have been used since long ago. This will probably help the head chef. And then over here, I'm assuming we have another cooking recipe. Tantalizing cookbook. Cooking recipes that will make you hungry just reading them. This will probably help out the head chef. Nice. Lintart. Hello. Swimming through a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume. It's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? You want to draw my, uh, my squad? Huh? Your class? I can see the appeal, yes. However, I still have a lot of books I wish to read in this class. But talk to me again, okay? So, he likes magic and reason. Well, we don't have that. Ooh, another book. Illustrated cookbook. Cooking recipes with illustrations that make them easy to follow. You feel that even you could cook with this. I have noticed, by the way, that all... Oh no, these are still here. They just weren't marked. That's fine. I was worried that we'd lost all of the ability to read books. I can't believe it. Which would have been an issue. Hello. I'm so glad to be a student here. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan. I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. You should visit them in person. I'd like to. I don't have many chances to travel. Okay. So, now we've been here. Let's fast travel out. So we know we've still got to go to the entrance hall. So let's talk... We haven't been there yet. Uh, ever. Okay, let's go back to the dining hall then. Because we know we've got to go there. To hand in this cooking quest. So, let's hand it in. Head right. Chef. Hello. You're a lifesaver. Thank you for sharing in the culinary arts with me. I can tell you of exceptional taste and must truly enjoy making all manner of food as much as you do eating it. You're welcome to use the kitchen whenever you please. So, we got our reward. Just a bunch of recipes. Well, but not a bunch of recipes, a bunch of um, ingredients, and then we can now do cooking. Which we're not going to do right now because we want to maximize the benefit of this one. So, let's see where else we want to go. So we want to go to the entrance hall. So let's head through this way and into the entrance hall. Aloise. Oh, we have to... Of course, it's the entrance hall. We have to appreciate. There's some nice statues. Uh, Louise, hey. hello. Oh, Professor, how are you today? I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. Good luck. I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, he's gone. All right, then. Um, nothing over there. Down this way? We have another Knight of Seros. We will accompany you on your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. If any of you run into trouble, we'll step in and help out. Okay, I'm sure you'll be very useful. Yuritsa. You look bored. Care to duel? To the death? What? I just wanted to spar. Oh, I think we scared him off. Right, and now we have the Marketplace. A place where you can buy stuff and things. Also sell said stuff and things. So... Hello. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. 
Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. I might just do that. I'm going to head this way first before we head to the marketplace. Continuing my search for items. Anything back here? I'm not allowed to go past here. Alright then. I guess there's probably not any items that way then. Right. Uh, down this way, we have a lot of shops. Are there any items hey. in the shops that I can steal? I mean, uh, pick up? Nope. Nothing that there. there. Nothing over here. Nothing over Hi here. There. Okay. Hello. I just want to see Welcome. what he has, really. So I choose a person, then I can go and buy things. So he sells every type of um, these type of items you could want. Okay. Um, Come back then soon. we have this person okay. Welcome. who sells... Alright, they sell all the generic kind of items. Okay, what's pure water? Piece of resistance. Hmm. Alright. We well, don't need any of that. But it's Please still useful to know what's there. Right. Hey. So now we've been there. So we've been all of these places. How do we get to... So to get to there, there's a main between cathedral and library on our map. I need to head down this way to the greenhouse. I think I've tried there. Okay. There are some more people I need to speak to, which are glowing on the map as well. Let's head to the personal quarters. Yeah. Then we can go and speak with the person who's in this area. I think this is the finding people who like to sing. Probably. Which I assume is Dorothea. Oh, what's this? Choir sign-up sheet. List of students from the Golden Deer House who wish to participate in choir practice. Nice. Well, that was really easy. Okay. Um, wasn't quite what I meant to do. I want to head in here now. Yeah, the Officer's Academy. It's a little fast travel over the wall. Okay. Somebody over here I need to speak to, okay. apparently. <sighs> Student. Okay, hello. Bridget, Almira, Thesker. Even people from far off lands gather here at the academy. Word of advice, professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. I gained dissidence intel. Nice, I got two lots of things to do. So choir was it? Oh, they're both in the cathedral, perfect. Well, we'll go there then. Hand those in. So once we've handed those in, I think it might be time to fish. We'll probably do that then. Hello, choir. My savior, thank you. Thank you for your assistance. I'm sure there are music lovers around the monastery, so feel free to invite anyone to participate in choir practice. I'll make sure all the necessary preparations, uh, make all the necessary preparations when t uh, the time comes. Cool. So we get that. Nice. Well, we can do that later. And then, all the way down here, we have Seteth. Well done. You have my so, thanks. So, the rumors are spreading. Still, it may be ill-advised to move against fellow followers of the faith. Even so, this is good information to have. Th I thank you. We get a leather shield, a steel sword, root vegetables, and renown. Nice. So that's all the quests done. Something else. So, it's time to fish. Yeah, I bet you're excited. We don't have that much bait, but we do have some bait, and that's all we need. Hello. I would like to fish. Right, I'm ready. We have seven attempts. Now, I believe you can try three times. Like, you can ignore the first... Oh, we got a yellow one. Never mind. Yellow's the best, I believe. Oh, no. I failed it already. Oh, this is awful. I'm rubbish at this. Alright. That was bad. I've never seen bad, but we got bad. The fishing line broke. Well, that is... Absolutely atrocious. Let me see if I can do better. We have three attempts. We're looking for red or yellow, and we got red. I just haven't got the timing right. Uh, that's good. I'll take good at this point. I am atrocious at fishing. Okay. We can cook it into a dish that boosts the dexterity. Yeah, I believe that cooking does give you a buff for the month, so it is probably worth doing on a lot of months, but yeah, not on this day. 
Don't want that one. Don't want that one. I'm after yellow or red. Red. Nice. Too early. Nice. I'm starting to get the tempo. I have to press it, like, a little bit faster than I think I need to press it. Let's do it again. So, oh, red. Perfect. Ah. Oh. That's annoying. I'm getting better. I'll probably get, you know, as good as I can get on the last fish. Right. Red. Let's go. That was okay. That's combo four. I'll take it. Nice. Next one. Nope. Yep, we'll have red. I swear there was lag. That's my excuse anyway. At least I'm getting good. Bad was atrocious. Not even getting a fish feels really bad. The blowfish. Alright, it's my best bit of bait. No, 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 no. Red. Let's go. Oh, that's bad. Well, we still got the fish. A bullhead. It's a five-star fish that can be uh, cooked into a dish that boosts speed. Well, I hate fishing. But that's fine. Right. Uh, let's head in here. And uh, let's go and do dining. Bonding bites. Actually, just before we do that, let's save. Because that is pretty much everything that we need to do with everyone. Right? Then nobody else needs to talk. Let me just... Oh, actually, there is someone else who needs to talk. The training grounds, Casper wants to speak, apparently. Let's speak to Casper, then. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Oh. Okay. And I found that claw. Wait, was that what Dorothea was looking for? Uh... Where was the... Well, I guess I can't do that. Okay, that's fine. But I just... I guess maybe you were meant to get that information after you spoke to Dorothea. Okay. Let's go to the dining hall. That wasn't the dining hall, but it's close enough. Oh, what was the dining hall? Right. Okay. Right, bonding bites. Today's special. So this works really well for people who are in our class. So Marianne and Hilda are already very happy. Let's go with Raphael and Lorenz. Sure. Mmm, delicious! Don't worry about finishing your portion. I'll gladly clean it up after you. Could you eat a little more quietly, please? Mm, your manners are disgraceful. Okay, the motivation went up. And everybody likes each other more. I got a lot of professor level for that. And then, oh, I can't do any more today special. Okay. Um, well, there's nothing else I can do with my time. Oh, I could do choir practice with my time, I suppose. Hmm. Could also make one of these ones here. I do need to make two people um, have motivations go up. Who do I still need? Let me just... That's not what I want to do. I want to do this one. Then have a look at my support. I don't know where you see this. Hmm. Is it support? Uh, I'm trying to figure out where their support, where their um, motivation levels are. Ah, there we go. So we can see that Leone, Ignatz, and Lysithia are the three we need to get up to full-on happy level. So we can, we're probably only going to be able to get two of them. But let's go up to the cathedral and see who we can get into choir practice. Let's see, maybe that, maybe that will uh, do that. I don't know. See whether we, they, we have these three 
uh, like inquire. Uh, we do not. So that's Lorenz and Hilda are probably best to do with that with. Okay. So back to eating. Because that's our other option. We need to find something that either Leone, Ignatz, and... Was it... I've completely forgotten the last one. Oh, okay. Last one. Leone, Ignatz, or Lysithia. The person I said I wouldn't forget. Oh dear. Uh, Lysithia likes that one. Leone and Claude like that one. Leone Marianne. Leone Ignatz like vegetable stir fry. Let's go for it. Ignatz and Leone. Let's do it. Yeah. This food is a revelation. <laughs> I can't help but smile when I eat it. That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. Aha! So now, they like me more. Good. And we get a bunch of professor level. And with that, our day is over. So I'm going to finish exploring. And we'll proceed. Ooh, it's teaching. I haven't done this yet. Don't tell me. No one bothered to show you the standard procedure for lectures? I guess it's up to me to save the day. When you instruct your students, they gain skill experience. As their skill levels increase, they will gain access to new abilities and combat arts. The number of people you can instruct is indicated by your activity points at the top of the screen. When you set up a group task, the students you assign will, be, will continue the task until you change it. After the first round of instruction each month, your students may come to you with a question. They'll be motivated if they like your answer. Before starting a lecture, be sure to first check on our study goals. After all, students will want to prioritize studying things that relate to their goals. Students study on their own and earn experience according to their skill goals. Reports are report results are reported at the end of each week. You can alter students' goals at any time using the goals menu. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. But that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach things that don't relate to someone's goals. Not by a long shot. By overcoming their weaknesses, some students may develop an interest in new fields. A three-star rank, a three-star mark next to a skill indicates that you will unlock a button talent after a certain amount of instructing. Once you unlock a button talent, the person will go on to excel in that particular skill. They may even learn a new ability or combat art. A student's study goals may need to be updated based on their learnings and experiences. It's an important part of being teached to counsel students like that. As students improve from instructing and personal study, they may approach you with suggestions for new goals. Whether to accept their suggestion or not isn't completely up to you. Feel free to guide your students along paths of your own choosing. Motivation. How well their tutoring goes will depend on a student's motivation. It's possible that interacting with students on a regular basis will raise their motivation. Maybe. Then again, what do I know? In any case, make sure to keep an eye on how motivated everyone is. You can instruct students with high motivation more frequently. One way to increase motivation is in to interact with your students around the monastery. Group tasks. Students are encouraged to partake in various activities around the monastery. If you have students work together, it will give them a chance to interact, and maybe even help them achieve better results. You can assign one group task each week. Students who take part will earn skill experience based on your choice. You can also get gold and resources by completing these tasks. The result of a group task will depend on the student's strengths, weaknesses, and affinity for one another. Certification exams. Have you heard about the monthly certification exams? If you want to become a certain class, you have to pass the certification exam for it. That means training up on the required skills so you can pass. Don't slack when it comes to teaching your students what they need to know to pass their certification exams. When you pass a certification exam, you can change to a new class. Benefits of higher tier classes include increased stats and growth rates. Nice. Okay, we're going to instruct manually. Let's just start from the top and work our way down. So Claude, we know what he is, he's Bowman. Although apparently he has a skill in the axe, which is still to develop. And his 
skill goals, though, are bow and authority. Hmm. So what do you want to give him? I want to improve his bow right now. I just want his bow to be better. I, I don't really mind about his budding talent one. Although, interest. let me just try something. One on here. Does that improve I learned one a lot from this. I'm trying to figure out whether that gives him one star. It doesn't. So you'd have to go... I guess you have to go all the way into that to get him anything from his talent. I wonder if that's worth it. It might be. It might be worth it to do this. He probably gets bow from uh, just naturally shooting the bow. So I'm actually going to go all into axe. I don't know if this is wrong, but Let's I'm going to do, this do again it. Sometime. I'm never planning on making him use the axe. From this. I just want to see what ability he gets from it. Good. Okay. And then he, oh, and then he got one star. So maybe it's each training session will give him a star. So we don't need to waste too much time. We just need to spend three weeks doing it. Okay. Um, who have we got next? Raphael. I know what he he needs to do. So let's just check what talents they've got. So we don't know about Raphael Lorenz. Don't know about him. Ignatz. If they have a talent, I want to start going for it immediately. So he has one for reason. His current skills are as uh, sword and bow, but I'm going to give him reason. I'll keep trying my best. I'm going to try and hit all of these talents. Good. Perfect. I huh. can't believe I got it right. And that, if we praise him, gives him another oh, no. turn. I just got lucky. That's really good. Give him another one of these. Another perfect. I can't believe I got it right. Unfortunately, it's not multiple times. Oh, so four trainings will give him one star. Interesting. We give him another one here. So he's less than a couple weeks away. Um, so Ignatz. Lysithia doesn't have full motivation, so we don't want to train her. Marianne. Lance. All right, then. Let's give you some Lance training. I think they can only have one budding talent, but I might be wrong about that. I can't believe it. You did very well. Oh, I'll try to get the next one, too. Yeah, I think they can only have one budding talent, Maybe. but I, I I just don't really know on that one. Maybe I Oh, a star. And another perfect. I can't believe it. So she's almost ranked up on that. And now we're out of uh, lesson plan or lesson points. Group tasks. Do we need to assign one here? This is heavy armor skills. Well I know that we want Raphael to have heavy armor. Do we want anyone else? Not really, no. Stable duty for riding? Claude and Lorenz, maybe. Okay, and then flying? Do we have anyone who wants to fly? Hmm. It'd be nice if I knew what exactly I wanted them to do. I know that I want Raphael to do this. I know I have some positives for people doing this one. Let's go for Lorenz and Claude. As I believe that Claude can shoot from the back of a horse, and Lorenz uses a lance, so can lance from the back of a horse. So, at the very least, they're useful here. I should probably look at their um, goals as well at some point. Right. Oh, I can look at goals now. Well, maybe, can I undo my task? I can. Oh, okay, so we should do that now then. So, if I press this, I can get into classes. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I could have a look at all their classes. So, what I want to see is, does anyone have a class that's in writing? So some of these have writing at the next level. So maybe that's something I want to get people into. So Lorenz wants to ride, ride at the next level, but Claude probably doesn't. Who else wants to ride at the next level? Hilda uses an... Well, I guess Leone, maybe? But I think she might use a sword? She uses... Oh, she uses Lance. So actually, I should have Lorenz and Leone learning writing. I think. Even though they've not, they're not as aff affiliated. That's probably not the right word, but you know what I'm meaning. Even though they don't have an, as much of an affinity, they would still work, make more sense. All right, let's begin our lecture. Hey, can I ask you something? That was a fascinating lecture, but now my brain is fried. I feel like I need a change of pace to reinvigorate me. What do you recommend? Why don't you go for a stroll around the monastery? Ah, now there's an idea. Nice, you liked it. Ooh, almost level up.
Uh, I'm to work with Leone. <laughs> I love it. What's wrong? Can't stomach being paired up with a commoner? Not at all, but I am concerned about what you will make me do. Our results would have been better if you'd done a little more, Lawrence. It was a concession to do as much as I did. This type of work is utterly beneath someone of my station. I'm gonna make sure he does it every week. Aha! Support between the two increased and we got some money. That's good. Then all their skills will get a boost. Which is, you know, probably just as much as a learning that we could have given them. And then close that up. And it's Raphael's birthday. Do you want to buy him flowers? Of course nice. I want to buy him flowers. What else would I do? He loved the birthday flowers. And it's the 18th. And our only option is battle. Well, next time we're doing battling. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.